All right, so today I have a build to show you guys where you're gonna be able to hit 90 airborne effectiveness with a 140 RPM hand cannon. And the only catch is that you need to be using Not Forgotten or Luna's Howl, which is a pretty big catch, but at least hear me out on this. Precision frame hand cannons after the inner accuracy changes give a plus 25 to your airborne effectiveness. So Not Forgotten has a 10 airborne effectiveness base stat. The 25 is gonna take it to 35. Icarus Grip is going to give us 15, which is going to take us to 50. Lucky Pants is a plus 20, so we'll be at 70. And that's kind of just going to be our baseline that we'll stay at for the whole match. And whenever we get a kill, because of Ember of Tempering and Not Forgotten being a solar weapon, we're going to get plus 20 airborne effectiveness, which will take us to 90. So yeah, we're going to need a kill to activate this. But I mean, having 70 airborne effectiveness all game is still really, really good. Your bullets pretty much go exactly where you're shooting. You just need to be a little bit more exact than you did with old Icarus. And when we get up to 90 it i mean i don't really feel a difference between 90 airborne effectiveness and old icarus grip so yeah i do drop a 38 kd game with this build so enjoy that streak right before i play that i'll go over the armor mods here here's the reese walker if you're curious on this and uh yeah i know my hunter is obnoxiously red by the way um i was just feeling i was feeling a little dangerous dude my bullets were going where i was uh where i was actually aiming in the air so I mean, look at these eyes, like you see that in game flying at you in the air, you're getting hit with these airborne effectiveness changes, you're confused, you instantly fold into a laced potato chip, there's just no other option. Anyways though, let me know your thoughts on the airborne effectiveness changes. What would you do differently if you could and what do you think Bungie did well? Personally, I'm fine with it. I don't mind building into it. I just, I wish we had more ways to build into it and I wish we could actually see the stat in game. But yeah, I think the most obvious thing is since they took away scavenger mods in PvP, just give us an airborne effectiveness mod that we can use on our boots. I don't know though, that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments and let's get right into the gameplay. Alright dude, Distant Shore 360 for good luck. Maybe another 360? I don't even really mind this map for what I'm doing. I need to be able to have an open map to jump around on. We're hitting the first shot on the air, boys. It's a good sign. For the first part of this game, I'm going to play probably a little weird. I'm going to be like just jumping when I shouldn't. Like this guy, I'm going to jump at him. And he placed his shield. All right, this is actually horrendous. This is terrible. Uh, Oh, you messed up, brother. You messed up. So we got another guy here. I'm gonna try and just kill this guy normally. Actually, put down a rift, whatever. Ooh, is he pushing? Nah, I think he's just laning right here. <laughs> My brother, what are you looking at? All right, another guy right here. I'm gonna try and get this guy in the air. Oh, a couple body shots. That's that's pretty far though. I mean. Pre-nerf, that definitely would have been a headshot, but I'll get some more examples. Trust me, it's this is definitely a lot better in the air than than all the other uh, other builds I've tried. Not forgotten feels feels kind of good though. Dang, it feels weird not having recoil on my hand cannon, but Let's see if I can get some more inner kills here. Like I said, for the first part of this game, I'm just gonna try and jump around a lot, but I don't want to be like, what the? I couldn't pick that up. I don't want to be too excessive with it, because then I'm just going to die. There's a precision hit. I, I, I think that other shot, that other precision hit on this guy was in the air. And then I proceeded to miss on my other ones. Are you guys going to kill this guy? Are you kidding me? I was just going to let them get that kill. Alright. I don't think I'm really going to be able to get uh, any inner kills over here on C, but... Aw, oh, this guy's... This guy's cracked. Maybe it's just because this is my uh, this is my second game with this thing. Not entirely used to not forgotten. It does feel really weird. Where's this guy at? See, there's a precision hit from pretty far away, so... I'm definitely going to get some more examples, though. I'm not done jumping around yet. Maybe if I'm on a long streak later on, I'll, I'll play normally, but... Hello? Actually, I'm gonna go back for this. I don't know what I wanna do. Get that guy. Ooh, nice little two tap in the air. Dang, this gun actually has a lot of range. I'm not really paying attention to, to the buffs, so I don't know when I have Magnificent Hell and when I don't. I'm gonna need a shoddy, this guy. 
kind of wanted to get an interaccuracy kill on him, but he decided to kind of just chill on that like pillar thing, so. Oh, no, 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 no. Please. So I have some people on B and then I could get challenged from dark, so I don't really want to be on the stairs. Let me go. What's going on over here? Not much really. I thought there would be more action over here. I'm going to run over here. I'm actually getting pushed from behind. No, I'm just going to run by this guy. Oh my God. That was so weird. That was very weird. Hmm. Looks like we're going to go for a super pop right here, man. I don't really know what else to do. There's two. Kind of got to clear these guys out. They're just chilling back here. Three. What? Oh, that's a bubble. Just waste the rest of it on that. I don't think it's going to do much to it, but... I kind of want to jump on that pillar. I want to see how many people are in the bubble. Is that two? Two people in there? That means we can kind of probably play around the area-ish. And kind of try and stop people from going in there. There's the Wii Ran. It's weird. I want to like... <laughs> I want to jump in the air like a lot, but I also want to like not die a lot oh no what are, what are we doing there's a nice little double kill this spawn is open back here i can definitely get an inner kill I, well i feel like i would have two tapped that guy but my teammate obviously he kind of yoinked it there's definitely been a number of examples, though. I feel like pretty much every time that I've aimed at somebody in the air, I've I've been able to hit the crit, so. Ooh, we got some gamers on B. That's a lot of people, though. Oh my gosh, good nade from that guy, honestly. Got me in the air. That was like a little hip fire in our shot. Airborne effectiveness was definitely probably helping right there. Is there anybody I can shoot in the air? Anybody. Nah, we're just laning right there. Alright, that's lame. Oh no. Please heal me. Oh, I whiffed, bro. Oh my god, that was ugly. Sometimes I whiff with this with this hand cannon. I don't know. I'm sure you guys can relate. Whenever you use a Not Forgotten or Luna's Howl and you're just... I don't know, you're not used to visually seeing your gun look like a precision frame hand cannon. Look at that range though, look at that 3 tab. Magnificent Howl definitely uh, coming in clutch. I know the Lucky Pants, is uh, they're helping as well because they help me with damage. Ooh, I think that might have been the first example of the inner accuracy still not being perfect. I don't know, maybe I missed. I am trash, so, you know, it is what it is. Barely got that kill. There's a nice little headshot in the air. I'm gonna shoddy this guy, though, because, yeah. Saw he was a warlock. I think that even was a stack, so I knew he was gonna rift up. Hmm, did I miss there? Uh, I had a precision hit right there, and then I definitely missed the other shots, so. A lot of in-air hits right now. I feel like you should definitely be able to tell that uh, this build is pretty good for inner accuracy. Two, three, four? Can I get another one? Anybody? Five? Uh, I think I should have went the other way. I saw a yellow dot on the radar, but I thought there was another guy over here as well. Alright, that is going to do it for that game. I think I died once, twice? I think it was twice. I don't even remember. If it was once, then I should get a really high KD, right? Like a 35 or 40 or something? 38 KD? All right. Obviously, I probably could have just like bounced around all game and got a ton of inner accuracy kills, but I wanted to play like semi-normally, you know what I mean? That is going to do it for this video, though. kind of debated on playing like a rumble or playing another game where I just jump around constantly, but I don't know. That seems kind of boring to watch because obviously if I'm playing like that, I'm, I'm going to be taking a lot of deaths. Like, yeah, I'm going to be showing it off, but 
I don't know that that game kind of shows like how this build is going to work in your sort of just everyday play like when you need to hit the precision shots when you actually find yourself in the air you're going to be able to land the shots if you made it this far into the video i appreciate it drop a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you want to see some future content and yeah i'm out